When I was asked by Teachers TV to present a masterclass in maths, I chose to teach a lesson about averages. My students are Year 9s from two North London schools. There you go, Clint. Come on in. Nice to meet you. Keep chatting. If you've got a company or a business or a factory, could you stand right over here? Excellent. All nice and friendly together, 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 together. Lovely. Let's count up how many businesses and companies we've got. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Ten. Nice and loud, good. Could you turn over your cards? On the back of the cards, we've got a number. In fact, it's a value of money, OK? Now, let's say, Caesar, you've got six pounds, which means that Caesar's company is making a profit of six pounds per hour. Six pounds every hour. Oh, dear. You're only making a profit of one pound an hour. Ah! But you're making a profit of ten pound an hour. Yeah, yeah that's better. Good. Uh, can you get yourselves in order then, please? Okay. So what we're going to do is look at all these values and work out some averages. Can we start with the mean? Who's heard of the mean before? You add up all the numbers and then divide it by the amount of numbers there are. Absolutely brilliant. Let's add up all the numbers, okay? So number one, stand forward. Number 10, stand forward. Add them up. 11. Good. Number two, stand forward. Number nine, stand forward. Add them up. 11. Number three, stand forward. Number eight, stand forward. Add them up. 11. Next two pairs, add them up. 11. 11. And the final two. 11. How many pairs of 11? Five. Five, five pairs. Five. What do the numbers 55. add up to? 55. 55. That was clever, wasn't it? Yeah. 55. Awesome. Excellent. That was good. So, what's the mean? 5.5. 5.5. 5. 5. 5. 5. 5. 5. pounds, is that right? Five pound fifty. Five pound fifty. OK. Annie, are you left or right-handed? Right-handed. You're right-handed, OK. Let's put the value in. So it's five pounds fifty. Put a nice pound sign. Uh, any other averages apart from the mean? I told you the mean. Median. The median. What's that about? Find the middle value. Ah, find the middle value. OK, so the middle value... Stand forward, whoever you are. Five. So the median's five, yeah? Ah, there's two middle values. Is that right? Yeah. Yes. Yeah. So it's in between. Right. It's in between them. Excellent. OK, so the median is £5.50. We're all happy with that. Yeah. OK, yeah. let's write that down then. Any other averages? Mode. 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 All right, then, what's the mode? Most frequent value. The most frequent value, which is? There's no mode. Right. There is no number that occurs the most. So we actually say there's no mode, which is a bit boring. Can you write no mode? It's a bit boring, that, isn't it? So let's just say, um, with this change things, you've just gone up a pound an hour. Well done. Two pounds now. What will the mode be now? Two. Why? Because the, uh, two is the most frequent number. Excellent. So you understand the mode now, don't yeah. you? But you understood it anyway, didn't you? Yeah. Good. OK, let's return back to the original problem. I was just checking. There's one more average that I'm interested in. The range, OK? So what's the range? OK, and you think it's...? Nine. Yeah, of course it is. It's ten minus one, isn't it? The range, nine pounds. Very neat. Let's just recap, then. We've got the mean, which is five pounds fifty, OK? The median, we put the values in order. They were already in order. We always remember to put them in order. Find the middle value, OK? <laughs> For this median, it was between two values, wasn't it? Yeah. So it was between five and six pounds. The mode, we find the most frequent value. There wasn't one. And for the range, how do we get the nine? Minus the highest. The highest. Number. OK, so we're all right. Brilliant with our definitions. There's a, an 11th company in town. It's called Johnny's Jellies. And I make £165 an hour. Wow, so I'm the 11th company. Hiya. You thought you were doing well? Yeah. I'm doing better than you. <laughs> Sorry. But we will get together. We'll get together. £165. Does this, does this affect the averages? Yeah. yeah. Are you sure? Not the mode. OK, I like what you're saying. Can you just put still no mode? Let's have a think about the, the mean. OK, let's add these numbers up quickly. Think about your last answers. And what do we get for the total? 220. How do you get that? Um, I added 55 to 165. Absolutely. 220 divided by 10, yeah? 11. 220 divided by 11, because there's an extra company now, would give us... £20. Excellent. Can you write the mean as £20? £20? 
How could that mean be so high when none of us are actually near it? Mm, we might need to come back to that one, I think. Right, um, the median. Right, median. Where's the median? 11 numbers. Six, can you stand forward, just check? Caesar, can you stand forward, please? Thank you. You've got five people to your left. Look to your left. Let's wave at him. Hey, and five to your right. Yay, OK, so we're definitely happy with the median is six. If you could write that down. Annie, thank you. And the range. Highest, minus lowest, 160, 164 pounds. That range is huge. I'm the mayor of this town, and I want the figures to tell me how well my companies are doing. That's the mayor. He wants to know what the figures are telling us. Now then, we've got lots of figures here. What are we going to do with them all? We need to think about this, because that mayor looked cross, didn't he? Yeah. He's quite good looking, though, isn't he? No. Yeah, no. I thought so. <laughs> right, there's ten companies, OK? And out of you ten companies, we've got two values that are the same. We've got the mean is £5.50 and the median is £5.50. Do you think they're reasonable averages to use? Yeah. £5.50 is a fair average, I think, to report back. The mean considers all the values. The median only considers the middle, but both of them are agreeing and they're saying £5.50. So I think we'll be all right for the mayor there. And the range was quite low after all. But look at the range on the second example. As soon as I introduced my company, things changed. So let's have a think about the mean. What about the mean? Can we say to the mayor that, on average, our companies are earning £20 an hour? It'd be wrong, but that's what the math says. No, but none of our companies here are even close to that, and your yeah. company's a massive difference to that. It's way bigger. So don't you think that's a fair thing to say to the mayor? No. no. OK. So you're basically over on the first part of the number line. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And I'm a very big number. I'm a very big number. I'm right over here and beyond, aren't I? 165. And then we're saying that the mean, this strange mean, is 20 pounds. Let's bring on this mean! Spooky. <laughs> Phantom. Phantom mean. Stand where your value tells you to. Ooh. He's a bit scary, isn't he? You can be my company. There you go. Just stand down here where my foot is. Brilliant. OK, now, this phantom is not making sense. If we were to report back to the mayor, you're absolutely right, that it was £20 an hour, it wouldn't be fairly representing all the companies. It wouldn't be at all. Now, could you come back over here, 165? That's Johnny's jelly. Stand next to the 10. We don't like the £20, do we? Any other averages that might be a, a more fair representation to tell the mayor about the 11 companies? The median. What, we could use the median, yeah. do you think? Now, what's the median with the 11 companies? Let's have a think about it. Six, Caesar, stand up there. Stand forward. You've got five on each side. Stand back. So, without you, Rena, we've got five pounds and six pounds. So, the median is five pounds fifty. OK. And with Rena, it's six pounds. Not a huge effect on the median. So, the median is less bothered about this big value than the mean. So we're thinking that we can say, on average, the vast majority of our companies earn about six pounds an hour. Is that fair to tell the mayor that? Yeah. yeah. So when we see a big range, 164, it seems to indicate there's going to be extreme values, doesn't it? Yeah. And you know something's a bit fishy. And extreme values can really affect the mean, because the mean takes all values into account. Whereas the advantage of the median, with some data like this, is that it ignores these extreme values and, and sometimes gives you a fairer picture. So for this example here, we've got a phantom 20 pounds. We don't need it, do we? So let's toast that ghost. Well, this is my factory. This is where it all happens. It's Johnny's Jellies. Do you want to come and visit my factory? Yeah. yeah. That's brilliant. OK, so grab a jar each. Lovely. Look how quick they're coming off. It's great, isn't it? 
Now, you might have noticed that there's no label on these sweets, is there? Underneath the name, on the label, we could have average contents per jar, couldn't we? Yeah. yeah. What do you reckon? What, what number shall I put on? Have a quick look in your jar. What do you think? Twenty. They're actually all different. They've all got different quantities. In Everyone's them. got different quantities. Yeah. Well, I've been trying the machine, and the machine, right, is 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 trying to put the same numbers in each. I'm assuming it's just going to be the same numbers in each, isn't it? Really? No. Ah, no. uh, we're going to have to test it out. Right. Okay. Fair enough. Um, I'd like to open your jars up then and count the number of sweets you've got in your jar. When you've added up your sweets, can you write the number on the lid? OK? Hold your jars up when you've definitely put a number on. We're all ready. Excellent. OK. I'd like you to come up and put your jars in a moment in the right place according to this number grid. So if you've got 33 sweets in your jar, just place it behind the 33 and I'll stand behind here and tidy them up a little bit. OK? Place your jar where you think it should go. 30. 30, pile that up, pile them high, 36. So we'll just check there, they're the 27s, we've got 29 there. We've got 30 over here. 31s are there, 32, 33s are there, 34, 35 and 36s. OK, mmm. What do you think about that? Why is it good? Because they're all round the same area, like, same number. Round about the same number. We haven't got any extreme values, have we? We haven't mm -hmm. got, like, 50 in one jar and we haven't mm -hmm. got 10 in another. Yeah, that's good. So what you're saying, really, is that the range is probably quite small, isn't it? Yeah. Is that a good thing for this example, to have a small range? Yeah. yeah. Why? It's more accurate because there aren't, like, a big value and a small... OK, value. it's more consistent, it's less spread out. Brilliant, so that's what I want. So, actually, looking at the range here, We've got 36 is the highest number. Uh, we've got 27 as our lowest number. What's the range? Nine. Nine? Nine. Just make a note of that. The range, 36 minus 27, which equals nine. Quite a small range. OK. Is there a mode? Uh, could we have a volunteer? Let's see. Come up, Akil. Let's work out if there's a mode. Come stand behind here, yeah? What do you reckon, Akil? Is there a mode? We've got... 30. 30. Why is 30? there's more of them. There's more of them. You might not be able to see these. If I stack them up, there's actually how many of those? There's five of those, and there's more 30s than anything else, isn't there? So there is one value that occurs the most. It's 30. Thanks. Just stay there. I might need you, actually. OK, the mode's 30. I'm happy with that. The mode's the most common, 30. OK. Um, the median. Where is the median going to be? There's 20 jars. So you think it's going to be the tenth number? No, it's going to be in between 10, 10 and 11. 10. It's going to be in between the 10 and 11. What did you say? 10.5. 10.5. Excellent. Sure? Yeah. Good. The 10.5th jar. Hmm. So between the 10 and 11th jars. Let's just find out where the 10 and 11th jars are. Or well, what we could do is just go count us and go one, um, like, they're two and 27, so that's two, then go to 29. Keep right. counting. Yeah. All right, let's do that. We'll follow your advice. What's your name? Emil, isn't it? OK, Akil, did you, did you follow what Emil said? Yep, so count them. 